Hello and welcome back everyone. Hello. Hi everyone. How are you today? <laughs> okay, Please stop. It's, it's it's already it's already bad. It's already bad. It's already S bad. Stop off this. Off to a good start today. Yep, off to a good start. Um, uh, I honestly <laughs> don't know what are we supposed to do right now. We're Did supposed to go back to into the to guild. We just ah yeah right, right. The boys, the boys were on night shift, uh, and we're hoping uh, they didn't they didn't get knocked out because we heard a bell in the morning. And yeah, um, we're probably pretty close to ending the chapter at this point. We finished all the side quests, and if there aren't any more side quests, which mostly there aren't, oh well, look, they survived. Hmm. Olivier got abducted though. Oh, hopefully not. Apparently. <laughs> oh, he's still asleep because he's just so exhausted from having to work with us all the day and then just also having to work all night. So, hmm. I mean, whatever the reason is, please don't take Olivier from him, from me. I love, <laughs> I love him. I need him. Main healer man. Morning. Good morning. Ah, good morning. There you are. You slept well last night, I hope. Yeah, thanks. Definitely recharged my batteries. Well, not necessary. The extra rest was appreciated. Thanks, you two. The night patrol wasn't too rough, I hope. Um, thank you for doing that. <laughs> not at all. We slept in shifts, so we're fine. Of <laughs> course. Of course. There's one of us still passed out at the hotel. I'm guessing you mean Olivier. He's the only one not there, Chloe. <laughs> wow. So he really did do his part, part last night? Haha, <laughs> that he did. He wouldn't stop complaining, but I think some of it was just for show. He did his job well. Well, we'll be sure to thank him later then. So, what's the situation? Did anything happen overnight? The night patrol may have been a good idea, because we've heard no new reports of people collapsing. But it's as we feared. All of yesterday's victims are still out cold and still completely unresponsive. Oh man. That's awful. Also, do we know of any changes to the fog? I swear it's thicker than it was yesterday, but at this point I'm not sure I trust myself to make a judgment. No, it's definitely getting thicker. Not only that, but we do have reports of the size of the crowd expanding as well. The entirety of the Malga Trail is now blanketed. All the way to the mine's entrance, apparently. Oh my god, I don't trust the mine workers to not just faint. <laughs> really? <laughs> Crap. If this gets much worse, keeping people safe will be impossible. Well, it's not all bad news. Between the reports of, uh, from us and others, the Royal Armies agreed to dispatch two full squads here. They'll take over the defense of the city proper. Yeah, they better. Really? Sweet. Yes, they'll be coming from bows over the Verte Bridge. That'll be a relief. If the army can take care of the city, that leaves us free to investigate the entire region. Right on. This gives us the chance to find... We need to find that Ouroboros clown at Bury Burier. Hmm. Oh, my guess is that our suspect mu must be concealing herself in the region's more remote areas. But this, that gives us a huge amount of ground to cover. Yeah, Roland as a region isn't that big, but just as seven of us can search the whole thing with a fine-toothed comb. I wonder if there's anything specific we should do. Well... On that note, how about I press gang you into helping with the evacuation evacuation of civil <sighs> How about I press gang you into helping with the evacuation of civil civilians to the city? Huh? Evacuating? It seems all but certain it seems all but certain that the comas occur within the fog. And now the fog's reach is growing. Like I said, we received word earlier that it's reached the Marga mine, and it's also reached the Puzzle Farm. No! The Puzzle Farm now too? I see. So we need to bring the puzzles and the miners back into the city where the army unit can keep them safe then. 
Yes, you can consider the guild assigned mission and pay all. Pay and all. Think, y think you could do that before you go looking for them? Keeping the city safe does take priority, I guess. As I remember, mine is some distance from the city, yes? And it sounds like the same is true of the Purzel farm. If that's the case, it would be wise to split into two groups. We needn't take all seven of us to one location. As much as I'm sure Will and Chef Hazel would love to see a small army of bracers show up at that, at that door, I agree. Well, um, speaking of which, can we go to the farm then? It's um, run by the family of an old friend. Oh, I see. Agathe, Olivier and I will, ev will evacuate the mine then. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Come on, let's go haul Blondie out of the out of bed. He, I swear to God, he, he waits. He waits for his cue every time. He stands in front of the door, listening. It's like, when will they like come back to the topic of me not being there? <laughs> when will they talk about me, myself, and I? <laughs> <laughs> haul me out of bed. What cruel summoning is this? Ah, you're awake. Why are you strumming your lute? Ah, oh, my rose. But the weather casts a pall on men's hearts this day. I thought to perhaps brighten the mood a little with a lovely serenade. Consider it a ray of sunshine piercing through the gloom, courtesy of Olivier Lenheim. How the hell can you be so cheery so early? It does sound like you were actually doing your part out there, though. I'll admit, you can be a good guy when you want to be, Olivier. Indeed. Well done. Ha ha ha! I merely did my duty as a gentleman and defender of love. To be honest, I had thought about stopping by Estelle's home while I was in patrol for... a visit. But the fog was so thick I could barely even find the, find the city gate. It was a tragedy, I tell you. Seriously? Just when I was reversing my opinion of you? He only wanted to meet Sherazad, don't worry. It's true. Let me get Olivier up to speed. A very bracer-like mission, huh? Very well. Allow me to help. Come, let us away to the farm with the fair lady. We... We said you're coming with us. The hell are you getting it wrong on purpose at this point? Oh, I did not realize you wanted me so badly, Agate. Why, if you keep being that forceful, you'll scare me away, my lover. Okay, um, hang on, I'm not your... Officially, it's canon now. What? What? Lover? I didn't know you were... <laughs> Hita, don't listen to a word he says, okay? And, well, so much for any hope of taking this job seriously. It's better than being too serious. Anyway, if we've fulfilled our tomfoolery quotient for the day, we really should get to work. Yeah, we should, really. We're off to the mine, then. Farewell for now, fair ladies. Don't go. I love you. Bye bye. Right, so we should get to the Persa farm on the double. After you, Estelle. Hey, Estelle. You said a friend of yours lives there, right? Uh huh. She's an old, old friend from Sunday school named Tio Persa. She lives out there with the rest of her family her grandfather Franz, her grandmother Hannah, and her twin siblings, Will and Chef. We will be escorting Minus, uh, not counting Tita since she's armed, so we'll have to stay alert on this one. Well, we're off, Anna. Good luck out there. No, Tita tell... doesn't count because she can defend herself. <laughs> it's true. Tell me there are. Excuse me. Tell me there are more. Other side. Ah, <sighs> yeah, true. No. No. No new quests. Nothing else to do but run. Do you have anyone you want to talk to? Like the chickens? Um, I, I want. Huh. 
Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, there's um, around the side of the guild house. You can find Anton. Oh, come closer, Ellie. I want to see nothing but your smile. Just like squats down, so he so his eyes are like on her mouth level. I'm so embarrassed, Emma. Who knows? Could be watching. The braces. The braces. The are standing right in your face. A child. Like guys, turn it down. And on. Apparently facing the clock tower. Facing the clock tower. Hey! Oh my God, that's it. Yeah. I don't know if that lady really matches Anton's fever dream of an ideal girl. He get more out of watching the pigeons, if you ask me. I'm serious too. Pigeons are good people. Hard to get tired of watching them bird it up. Anton. He's stalking Ana. He is. He fell in love with her. Uh, uh, how terrible! To think someone so lovely had such a secret. I can't carelessly invite her out like this. Curses! Ah, Anton. You really shouldn't invite her out, too. No. It's not worth it. It's not worth a liver failure. Nope. Don't get into bed with Aina and alcohol at the same time. Oops. And I should not have said the bad part, but still. No. That was the one. <laughs> Oh, hey. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Who's... Man, halt! Mr. Ashton, hi. It's really been a while. It is. It has indeed, Estelle. And you too, Sherazad. You're on some guild work, I take it? Yeah, we are. You see... Wait, squad's coming to guard Roland. Is that... Yes, that's us. We'll be protecting the city, along with reinforcements from the Harkin Gate. I see. Thank you, sir. Not at all. The duty of, th of the Royal Army is to protect Her Majesty's subject. How is Roland looking? Well, all the fog's getting thicker, but there haven't been any any new chroma cases. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Ashton. I think he's like, I think he's Rius. Rius dead? Luke. 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 Yes. About Luke. From what I've been told, he simply isn't wa waking up. There's no threat to his breath otherwise. Uh, to his There's no threat to his health otherwise. You don't need to avoid the topic for my sake. But... Right now, we both need to focus on our jobs. I su suspect that the best way we can help save... That's the best way we can help save Luke. <laughs> Mr. Ashton. That's very true. Ashton, please take care of the city for us. Absolutely. Leave it to us. Man, listen up. Roland is directly ahead. I want patrol teams to begin their rounds. The instant the boots our uh, boots hit the pavement. Is that clear? Yes, sir. <laughs> Not very motivated very army mot personnel. <laughs> they're, they're, about, they're about as motivated as like a elementary school class having to say good morning. <laughs> Yeah, yes, sir. Uh. Good morning, Mr. Ashton. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ashton. <laughs> um, is that Luke's? Yeah, Mr. Ashton is Luke's father. I'm sure he's really beside himself with worry. He's trying not to show it. He seems like a very strong kind of man. Yes, we have to do our best, too. Come on, because our farm isn't too far ahead, if I remember cor correctly. God, it's really thick fog. I can barely see anything. I hate those monsters. I don't want to fight them. Training? Me? No. Couldn't mm -mm. happen to me. They have all collapsed, I'm calling it. All of them are dead. Yeah, probably. They patrolled the city. 
So they should have fucking evacuated the people yesterday because they couldn't, you know, I think it seemed fair enough to assume that the fog would spread, probably. No. No, man. There wasn't even any fog here yesterday. Yes, let's go explain the situation to Mr. Puzzle. I doubt even Franz would try to go and make a delivery out in this mess. I hope, anyway. Well, now I'm Mr. Puzzle, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, there they go. Th that was... No. Shara. Come on. What's the bell? Uh -oh. oh. What the... The heck are these? Monsters made of... Fuck? What? We've no time for debate. Take them down. Hmm. What the hell is that? How do you even fight monsters made of fuck? Dream smoke. That's... Alright. Monster born from the fog. Weapon attacks almost never hit. Can emit poison gas. Love that. Ah, a lot of earth. Do you mm. have any tech earth arts? They are Wait. weak to earth. Earth, yes. I do. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I'm sorry if you can hear the clicking of my controller. Normally I wear, to like counteract that, I wear uh, a really fluffy hoodie and like put it in the in the front pocket. <laughs> but today it's just so warm and I couldn't. So I'm sorry if it's, uh, if you can hear my really clicking, I hope you can't. I can, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's true. Oh yeah, by the way, because um, me being a weird little person, I checked what the difference is between mist and fog. Okay. Mist is if you can see further than a kilometer, kilometer, because then the, it's not so thick as to call it fog. So if you can see less than a kilometer, it's fog. Okay. That's weird that there would be a, speci a specification like that, but okay. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I, I I never learned that. And I just knew. It both means the same word in German, so... No. Eh. Did we beat them? Yes, but that was simply a roadblock. We need to find the puzzles. Now. Right. Nah. They're dead anyway. They've been abducted. No, Tio. Not even the cows. Where did the cows go? Even the cows are gone. And the chicken. Um, they might be asleep in, um, yeah, in, land. in Yeah, in where? There is nowhere. Don't that question they... it. I will question it. My canon, no. my canon answer to this is that whoever put the puzzles to sleep also stole all their livestock. Fair enough assumption, I think. Uh, yeah. But there's no one... Yeah, at least they have rooms. a good amount of beds. Mm -hmm. They all collapsed in the living room. There they are. Mm -hmm. No. Mr. Puzzle? Cher, Will? Miss Puzzle? Tio! No. No. I'm sorry, Estelle. They're all asleep. The ones over here are too. No. We failed. Again. Estelle. I'm sorry. Damn it all. It looks like whoever's doing this knew what we were planning. That woman in black? There's no doubt in my mind. Estelle, let's carry them to bed. Can you show us where the rooms are? Uh, yeah.
Right, they're in bed at least. I wish I had some idea what to do now, though. Estelle, I know this, this is a shock, but you must put it aside. If you can't, you won't be able to help them. But it's all because I'm no good at this. I'm not even half the praise that my father is. I've put everyone in so much danger because I'm useless. Damn it. Damn it! I've acted all strong and confident. But... But it's all just an act. How am I supposed to fix something like this? I... I... Estelle. <laughs> yep, yep. Estelle? How dare you say something like this? Yeah. Oh, <sighs> sweetie. I mean, she's she's right though, Estelle. Don't ever say that. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're perfect. It's it's not your fault. You're perfect. And you deserve all the love in the world. Get hugged, get kissed, but also get slapped. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Sherazad. Estelle. Hey, we had the slap over in the next room. We're all a pack of fools, Estelle. I make mistakes constantly myself, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. Agate, Zin, and yes, even Cassius. We all do what we can, even as we're painfully aware of our own shortcomings. Even... Dad? I wonder... Do you remember? How Cassius didn't make it in time when... When your mother died. He's never forgiven himself for that, but he still overcame it in order to walk the path of a bracer. He never stopped moving forward and always did what he could to protect the people most important to him. Even in the army, he's still striding forward day by day, even if he's uncertain. So, Estelle, what will you do? You don't need to overthink it. Just go with what your feelings deep inside tell you. don't really have an answer, but I want to keep moving forward to protect the people important to me. Even if I'm an idiot right now, I can't stop just because I screwed up. <laughs> That's my Estelle. Sorry, Shara. Guess I'm just an annoying little sister, huh? Don't worry, honey. Besides, the bigger a pain, the bigger a pain the kid is, the cuter they are when they're all grown up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh, sorry, you two. I didn't mean to make a big scene or anything. Um, I was a bit surprised, but I never realized how close you and Shara are, Estelle. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous now. It was inspiring to watch, actually. Aww, yeah. But, Shara, really, what do we do? We need to get back to the guild house, but I can't just leave Tio and everyone like this. It is a problem. One of us is going to have to stay here, but... Enter... Kevin Graham. No worries, I've got that covered. Probably. Boom. Yes. Uh, you got that figured out. What is that? Hello, ladies. It's Kevin. Remember Priest Growl's ritual, Med Heroism? Man, we just met in Grand Sal. Wasn't expecting to see you again. Hand of 80 is at work, I tell ya. What are you doing here, Kevin? Oh, well, it's pretty simple. Last night we got a panicked report about fog, illness, and possibly the end of the world from Father Divine. So, in my capacity of one of the cat grads, Ritter, I decided to pop on over and see what was up. What? Wasn't quite expecting to have to hack my way through monster-infested foggy roads. I only got here late this morning. 
Not sure how you did that because your attacks frankly suck. But I'm happy you're here, even though it's suspicious as hell. When I checked in at the local Bracer Guild, I heard the Styles team was over here working, so... Okay, okay, I think I get the idea. Meaning the Hand of ADS wasn't involved at all, and you're being a creepy stalker again. <laughs> no, no, what gave you that idea? You being suspicious once and for all, yeah? yeah. Putting that you aside... You gave that idea. What do you mean when you say no worries? Oh, right. Well, I did overhear you guys talking about staying behind. Mm -hmm. You all go back. I got this covered. That's called eavesdropping. Huh? Are you sure, father? Hey, this sort of thing is part of a priest's job. I do have some medical training, so leave your friends to me. Thank you, Father Graham. I'm definitely willing to chuck this one in the Divine Providence column at this point. Alright, let's get back to Roland. Okay. Kevin, please take care of everyone. Leave it to me. Highly suspicious. What is, what is it with all the guys waiting for the right moment to make a big entrance? Uh -huh. Like, he just waited Eavesdropping for that as well. Waiting for mm -hmm. us to say, oh my god, but what should we do? Oh, we have to One of us will behind. have to stay here. Mm -hmm. So he can come in like the mad hero that he is. Which is suspicious. Yeah. You're suspicious, Kevin. You're suspicious. You're suspicious. You're a suspicious man. I don't believe a word you say. Because you're suspicious. All part of the job description. Just leave this to me and head off to the Bracer Guild. Uh, don't kill them while we're away. If any of them are dead when I come back, if they wake up dead, Kevin, I'm gonna be wake a little up mad. dead. That's the joke. Uh... <laughs> uh, everybody laughed. I would hope so. Yeah, oh no! Um, yep, that is why I hate those monsters. I just came here to have a good time and I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. Uh. Okay. Doesn't she have sailors? Hmm? What? What, what kind of feeler is she when she can't revive people? Uh, yeah. I think she would need, um, I think it's, it's wind, what you need to revive. Hmm. Sweet Jesus, leave me alone. Can you chill? Um, no. We're good to go. Nobody can chill here. I hate these monsters so much. You know what? Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck every single one of you. I'm leaving. Okay. Little squishy monsters. Hello. I can't relax for a second. I feel like the citizens are watching us. I can't so much as yawn by accident. Don't worry, I do that all the time. That's true. While recording. No problems at the moment. Our patrols are going normally for now. However, without anything changing, the enemy sh would could strike at us again at a moment's notice. None of us can afford to let our guard down. Stop. Oh, I keep getting waffles. Hmm. Do they say something else? Oh, my sweet lady. I pride myself on my sobri sobriety of thought, but this intoxication of love is real. It looks like that army squad started patrolling the town. That is one hell of a patrol schedule too, looks like. I wonder if something happened. Oh, and don't mind my partner off to the side over there. He's come down with another case of the same old disease. 
again. As always. Used to it at this point. It's just Anton. It's just Anton being Anton. Alright, hello. Are the miners dead? Why, wow. did the Why did the music stop? Hey, finally back. Suspicious. Mm -hmm. How did it go? I did not think it would take that long. It went... Well, a lot happened. Agate, have you guys already been to the mine? Oh yeah. That was a milk run. They were contacted ahead of time. They were ready to move pretty much the instant we arrived. We got back real quick too. We were, however, attacked by bizarre monsters on the way back. We were just discussing them with Aina. Weird monsters? Yes, things which appeared from the fog and melted back into it upon defeat. Fog beasts, one could say. That's like... Just the same as the ones we fought. They showed up at the farm too. Figures. You guys got hurt? Well, um, we're okay, but... That look can't mean anything good. It sounds like something happened. Can you give us a report? Of course. Share that explained what, what transpired at the farm. I see. Damn, just a moment too late. The fall lies with me. If we'd gotten there a bit faster, we'd have app apprehended the suspect. No, it's my fault, Shara. I'm the one who wasn't able to get it together fast enough. I don't think anyone's to blame, really, and I have to agree with Aina there. <laughs> From the sound of things, it seems like you were lured into a trap. A trap? Yes, think about it. You heard the sound of a bell the moment you stepped onto the farm. The flock beasts were waiting for you and the front door was locked. It sounds as though it was a setup so that you couldn't make it in time. Wait, you think it was deliberate? Like finding Tio and everything? Quite. In fact, when combined with the coma cases we know of so far, I'd say our woman in black is very clever. She specifically moved ahead of you to put people you knew and wanted to protect to sleep. <laughs> it seems we really are being taunted now. I guess. It's so weird though. I have no idea who this woman could be. And I mean, I'm upset and kinda scared, but she hasn't really taunted us in this the same way the others did. Chera. Yo, I'm back. Rich? Rich. Thanks for him. Huh? Rich? Oh, Rich. You were escorting that group to Grand Cell. Yeah, I left Grand Cell this morning and just got, got back. But, man, what the heck's going on? The fog's getting thicker, and now there are soldiers patrolling the city? Quite a bit has happened since last night. And the team explained events to Rich. Well, sounds like I missed a lot. Guess I picked a bad time to take a hike, sorry. It's okay. There's a plane on the horizon. It is doing a vrrr. I don't oh. think you can hear that though. I'm not sure, you could hear the washing machine, so I stopped it again. Hmm. I'm not sure. But I think the helicopter wasn't really audible, so... I wonder. It's okay. With the passenger ships stopped, we gotta keep travelers safe, too. And we hardly have time to take those kinds of jobs ourselves. Thank you for your help on that front, Rich. Uh, yeah, no problem. Though... Hey, back up a step. You said something about the sound of a bell, right? That's like something you heard from the fog, yeah? Yeah, that's about right. We don't know why it's being rung, though. Huh. Rich, it looks like this uh, rings a bell, if you'll forgive the expression. Kinda. Thing is, I was coming up the Elisa Highway just now, right? I could have sworn I heard the sound of a bell as I was passing along. What? 
Rich, where exactly did you hear it? This could be vital. Uh, whoa, give me a sec. I think it was just after I left the Garuna Gate. It must have come from inside the Mistwald. Mistwald? That's the forest to the southeast of, of the city, yes? At first, I thought there might be someone there, so I called out in the direction of the sound. I didn't get any answer, though, so I figured I must have imagined it until you mentioned it. Hmm. I wonder if it was wrong intentionally, knowing this report would reach us. In other words, taunt. Son of a... Shara, what do you think? Hmm. This is so obviously a trap. They may as well they may as well hang a sign on it, but we've got no choice but to leap into it anyway. This is a taunt we'll have to answer. <laughs> You're right, you and you or you take Mm. Take right. the person you feel more comfortable with. I mean, double healer would be nice, but uh, of course, of course, now. Another <laughs> monster on the Milk Main Road and oh, an no. Esmeralda's Tower monster, which. <sighs> Sucks. Sigh. Sigh. I hate both of those. Yep. That's, that's bad. But oh. um, I think we want to do those next time. That's true. We do want to do those next time. Let's end the episode here. Maybe next time we'll be able to uh, go into Mistwald and investigate. Probably not end yeah. the chapter with the two monster extermination quests, but um, maybe at least get close. Wouldn't yeah, that be nice? definitely. That would be nice. Yay. All but right, yeah. Though. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Until next time. Till then. Bye bye. Bye bye.